In the year 1652, a significant event occurred in South Africa's history. Jan van Riebeek, an employee of the Dutch East India Company, docked at the Cape of Good Hope. The Dutch East India Company, or VOC, formed in the year 1602, was on the hunt for a suitable way station to support its ships on the spice trade routes between Europe and the East Indies. The Cape, with its favourable climate, strategic position and abundance of fresh water and food, was the perfect spot. Van Riebeek, a Dutch surgeon and company administrator, was given the responsibility to establish this outpost. He had previously served in Vietnam and Japan, gaining experience that would be invaluable in his new role. On April 6, 1652, upon setting foot on the Cape, Van Riebeek and his team started building a fort and a garden to supply passing ships. While the initial aim was not to colonize the area, the settlement steadily expanded, marking the beginning of European settlement in the region. The arrival of the Dutch had profound impacts on the indigenous Khoikhoi and San peoples. As the Dutch settlers' hunger for land and resources grew, relations with the indigenous populations soured, leading to conflicts and displacement. The very fabric of the indigenous way of life was fundamentally altered. The establishment of the Dutch colony marked the beginning of European dominance in Southern Africa, laying the groundwork for racial segregation policies that would later evolve into apartheid. The Dutch settlement introduced significant socio-economic changes to the Cape. European farming techniques and crops reshaped the landscape and kick-started the region's economy. The Dutch East India Company's trade monopoly spurred the growth of a market economy rooted in agricultural production. But this economic growth had a price. Labour. The importation of slaves from places like Indonesia, Madagascar and other parts of Africa brought a new ethnic and cultural dynamic. The demand for labour introduced a new ethnic and cultural dynamic to the region, entrenching systems of forced labour with lasting social implications. The legacy of Jan van Riebeek and the Dutch settlement at the Cape is a topic of complex and ongoing historical debate. Van Riebeek's role in South African history is seen in many lights. Some view him as a founding figure, a man who laid the groundwork for what South Africa would become. Others, however, point to the negative consequences of his arrival, particularly for the indigenous Khoikhoi and San peoples. The establishment of the refreshment station marked the beginning of a period of European expansion and colonization in southern Africa. This had profound and lasting effects on the region's demographic, cultural and political landscape. The indigenous populations were marginalized, their way of life fundamentally altered. The European settlers introduced new practices and structures which laid the groundwork for centuries of colonial rule. The impact of Van Riebeek's arrival and the Dutch settlement on the future of South Africa is undeniable. It set in motion a series of events that would lead to the establishment of a racially segregated society, the exploitation of natural and human resources, and the struggle for liberation and equality.